Hello everyone, welcome to mailserverguru.com. Today we will see how to set up or add DNS entries at GoDaddy DNS server. In this tutorial, we will use our own domain mailserverguru.com as an example. So before that, let's discuss some of the basics regarding hostname or server name, how they actually formed and some of the DNS record type. Normally when we assign a host name or computer name to our server, we assign this with FQDN format. For example, let's say our web server name is web.mailserverguru.com. Here web is the actual host name and the mailserverguru.com is the domain name. So FQDN forms with a simple formula of host name plus domain name. So when we create DNS record to our domain at GoDD, the record follows the formula. We will assign IP address to server name and it will generate the FQDN automatically. Now let's discuss some of the main DNS record type what we must implement at DNS to make our site and email operational. So here let's discuss about the at the rate symbol this is used to refer our domain name for example to visit our site with URL HTTP mailserverguru.com without specifying the hostname www it must be resolved to our hosting server so to assign the web server IP we can assign like at the rate equal to our hosting server IP a record this is called the address record this is the host record where we set hostname to IP mapping for example web equal to the IP or mail equal to the IP so we assign the hostname to IP address here with the address record or the A record C name this is called the canonical name it is used uh, to create the alias or pseudo name of the original name of the server if you want our server with a different name we can create alias name of the original server for example if you want uh, to say our server as the hosting onemailserverguru.com where the original name is web.mailserverguru.com then we will create a CNAME record for the hosting one then the MX record MX or mail exchanger or the mail server record it shows which server will receive mail for this domain this is the mail server record and the last one is the NS record or the name server record. This is the DNS server record. This record will show which is our DNS server. Normally GoDaddy assigns to name server for any domain purchased from them. So now let's go to the domain control panel and add our entries as required to make our site and email operational. Later we will check the assigned records are resolvable from internet. Here after login to GoDaddy domain control panel, we will see this page. We will work at the DNS zone file section. In DNS terminology, any domain name has two zones for record mapping, the forward lookup zone and the reverse lookup zone. Here at GoDaddy, we will work with the forward lookup zone where we always assign name to IP mapping. Here, for ease of understanding, I have deleted all the built-in record and make the zone file clean. We will add record one after another as necessary. Here we can see that we have no record actually here. The last one is the name server or the DNS record. This is the built-in record. We cannot delete uh, from here. This is actually built-in record and we need this. Before we assign any record, let's see what are our servers and what record we are going to add we have a few servers in our in our domain one hosting server which IP uh, is 2021 and 120.1 for example so our server hostname is web.mailserverguru.com and after uploading content of our website 
uh, we need to edit so we need a way to upload and download website content that's why the same server we must uh, have a way to FTP to download and upload content so we will identify the server we will name the server with a different name that is ftp.mailserverguru.com then we have another server which is movie.mailserverguru.com and we have a mail server and as our as DNS server we are using GoDaddy's own DNS server these are built in we are not changing this so let's create the record one by one go to add record this is the A record for our hosting server we name the hosting server as web points to the IP address this is the TTL value of this record so to upload and download uh, site content from our web server we need uh, an FTP so we are just uh, naming our server we're giving another name that is FTP so we are not creating directly a record we are creating the C name or alias record host FTP points to web okay so now we want to visit our site without specifying the www record so we need to add a domain record actually add record we can give here the sign point to our hosting server next we also want to visit our site with specifying www record so we will create a www record which will be a cname record for the original at the rate record so let's create name record points to at the rate so we have a movie server which IP is 120.5 so let's create another record we call it movie point to this is a completely different server now we need to assign our mail server so our mail is hosted to a hosting company which is uh, actually we are not hosting our own mail we are hosting just our server so we can uh, if we don't want to host our own mail then we can uh, assign here the hosting server of or the mail server of uh, the mail hosting company so we are giving our mail to another server which is a mail hosting company host is at the rate that means for full domain mail will go to mail dot be local dot today for example priority is the 10 priority means the sometimes we have multiple mail server for a single domain uh, so that if one uh, mail server goes down then another will uh, take cover um, in that in those type of scenario we had to assign mail servers with the priority assigned so we have only one mail server here so we are giving this priority 
10 or 1 or 0 whatever the value is so now we have assigned our record or DNS record for the hosting uh, for FTP for mail we are done actually and our DNS record already assigned if we have custom DNS then we can assign here our custom DNS server record if you if we don't want to use go to this DNS server but I will suggest you to use uh, go to this DNS server because uh, whenever you add or any changes will take instant effect it will update all over the world instantly so finally let's check our uh, DNS records that uh, the record we have assigned actually resolvable from the internet so we can check from DNS checking tool like mxtoolbox.com this is very very famous tool so we can check here our uh, DNS record so we can ask the MX toolbox find out our DNS server DNS colon mail server guru dot com so it will find the DNS server for the mail server dot com so here we can see the ns49 dot domain control and ns50 dot domain control which is mentioned at our dns server at our uh, domain zone ns49 and ns50 so it is resolvable from the outside and let's check the mx record or our mail server record which is our mail server we are asking MX Toolbox to find out our mail server for this domain. So mail.belocal.today, which we have actually assigned here. Finally, let's check our movie server record, uh, checking if it is resolvable mm -hmm. from the internet. A dot movie dot mail server dot com. So here it resolves 202.19.120.5, which is mentioned at our DNS zone. So that means whatever record we have added here, uh, it's resolvable from the internet and all over the world, from all over the world, uh, they will find us easily. So thank you. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you very much.